JST connector stands for Japanese solderless terminal, I believe. The PH 2.0 five pin is the most common that mice use. Here's an old piece of crap Microsoft mouse. The pinout for this one was reading from left to right with the Kate with the cords coming down. Five volts, data negative, data positive, ground shield. The two black are different. The larger black is always the shield. This is not totally necessary. It's mainly to do with um, uh, compliance reasons. To repin this connector, it won't come apart on its own. Don't force it. You'll break the terminals off. There's these plastic fingers you need to lift up on. So let's go ahead and do the red one at the top. So I'm going to use my precision screwdriver here. You guys can use a toothpick or a knife. If you use a knife, just be careful. So I'm lift up on that. And now I should be able to... Come on, you. Slide that red one right out. And then you just rinse and repeat. You need to know what pinout your mouse requires because a lot of mice are different, which is really unfortunate. You should check the overclock.net thread uh, that CISA made ages ago. There's also uh, mouseclub.co is another fantastic resource. If you don't find your mice on one, it'll probably be on the other. And then I also have a spreadsheet linked down in the description below. And that's really just a compilation of the those two other aforementioned websites. But I've added my own um, experience, some weird mice that I've done. Like, I think I've done a Logitech G3 at some point and MX510s, kind of older stuff. Yeah, that's all there is to it. Not too bad. And then to reinsert... All you have to do is simply press it together. Again, when you are reinserting, it's cables coming down and the connector facing you. And these pins have sort of a fat nose, and that fat nose, I guess, sort of goes away from you. And it's just a simple press in. And you'll feel it. It'll grab, and it's, it's in there good. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.